good day everybody and thank you for joining me and for a brief 10 minutes on the uh, uh, occasion of the Solutions Plus uh, e-course on business models for e-passes uh, in Kigali, uh, a project I worked on as financial advisor in infrastructure and transit. I'm with Rebel, an advisory firm specializing in financial and strategy advice in uh, uh, infrastructure and transport and PPP projects. Uh, I'd be happy to tell you a little bit about what we uh, uh, were, uh, looked at uh, and how we came through uh, to recommendations on uh, uh, business models for a transition from the existing kind of diesel bus system in Kigali into uh, an e-bus uh, uh, system. Uh, we'll be briefly going through uh, the um, scope of the study, uh, look at the financial impact that we determined uh, that will take place as a result of this transition. Um, we'll look a bit at the proposed business models and discuss the considerations that underlie some choices that were made there, um, uh, followed by um, the enabling uh, policy principles uh, 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 highlighted uh, and um, concluding, uh, concluding with the um, implementation approach uh, that was suggested. Uh, again, uh, this study represents our own recommendations and findings as advisors um, for the benefit of the, uh, the clients here, but uh, uh, not uh, uh, as such representing their own views or, uh, or uh, interests in um, anything going forward. That said, the study was all about concept validation for e-bus implementation. In other words, looking at the concept of implementing uh, battery electric buses or another technology of e-bus in Kigali. Is it going to work? Uh, under which conditions will it work? Uh, what is needed to make it work? Um, and, and essentially, we looked mainly at these uh, four uh, key points, which is what would be the optimal uh, e-bus technology choice, um, considering the operational requirements in Kigali, considering implementation risks, uh, but also considering the uh, uh, condition and the potential constraints of the power grid um, present in Kigali. Um, uh, having determined, uh, also looking at the routes that were packaged into uh, a first package of optimal routes that could be transitioned to e-bus operations, uh, we determined that uh, the um, fast charge uh, plug-in uh, e-bus system would be the optimal uh, uh, choice to go with. Uh, but in this presentation today, uh, I would mostly focus on the, the second of the uh, the second half of these four points, uh, namely the uh, financial impacts resulting from the transition and kind of the business model and the policy and implementation pro approach around that. But based on these four uh, pillars of the study, um, uh, we were able to discuss and to highlight considerations and validate the implementation potential for a transition to e-bus um, yeah, e operations in Kigali. Um, overall, looking at the um, financial impacts and challenges of uh, transitioning from the existing slightly aging uh, uh, fleet of uh, diesel buses to battery electric buses, um, we concluded that the transition to e-bus implementation is competitive. If you look at the total cost of ownership, of buying the buses and, and operating them uh, in a somewhat longer term. And by longer term, I mean longer term than one would normally uh, depreciate uh, and finance for bus acquisition uh, in uh, the current operational circumstances in Kigali. Uh, E-buses are uh, uh, cheaper on a TCO basis, uh, mostly due to the fact that although there, uh, the cost per vehicle uh, uh, and compounded with the cost for uh, charging infrastructure uh, results in a higher upfront capital investment cost. Uh, based on local circumstances in Kigali, uh, uh, local circumstances being the energy rate, uh, on a total cost of ownership basis, uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the cost of operating e-buses is lower than the cost of operating diesel buses. Uh, the TCO period in this case uh, represents a payback period of roughly uh, 15 or 16 years, mostly owing to the lower energy costs in Kigali, which is in uh, no small part driven by significant hydropower uh, 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 element in the total energy mix that is delivered to the grid. Um, this incidentally also, of course, uh, greatly helps the 
decarbonization impact of a transition from diesel buses to e-buses, seeing as a larger share of the energy that would uh, uh, um, uh, fuel, if you will, the new uh, e-bus system uh, would be uh, uh, made up of relatively clean uh, uh, sources. Um, the business model um, that was proposed by us is, in short, uh, a government-led uh, funding and delivery of the, the assets required, the buses and the charging infrastructure, for the uh, introduction of battery electric bus transport. Uh, I won't go so much into the details, but the, at the core of it is uh, an asset company that is set up by uh, either local or national government that would raise the financing from a mix of commercial and non-commercial sources and that would uh, acquire uh, uh, for more than one PTO, more than one public transport operator, the buses and the infrastructure and would make that available to the operators in a uh, lease contract type um, arrangement. Uh, and given the uh, situation of the concession framework today in Kigali, those lease contracts could be incorporated in the next wave uh, or the next generation of concession contracts coming up, so they would be uh, uh, part and parcel of, they would be appendix to the uh, uh, concession contract. Um, the financial impact of this uh, from the viewpoint of the government would be that roughly half of the investment required uh, for buses and infrastructure acquisition uh, undertaken by this public sector asset company uh, would be uh, financeable from uh, more or less commercial sources uh, and uh, roughly half uh, of the uh, 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 investment sum needed would have to be pre-funded in the form of viability gap funding, um, not equivalent to a subsidy, uh, but uh, a sort of, sort of advance uh, funding that would be recovered over the total cost of ownership period of 16 years. Uh, in a way where uh, you would see that uh, after 16 years, the cash balance uh, held by the uh, asset company exceeds the initial uh, amount uh, in viability gap funding that would have to be contributed into the uh, uh, company as an initial uh, advance. Uh, in terms of policy uh, around this analysis and this recommended business model structure, we highlighted seven principles, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, simply the decision that this would be made part of the new concessions, number one. Number two, that uh, the routes would have to be picked and optimized in a way that uh, uh, this would be done through natural fleet replacement. Uh, we already highlighted public sector leadership and ownership. Uh, it should be beneficial to the operators and not cost them more. Um, uh, you could even incentivize them a bit through discounting the purchase sum uh, uh, or the, the lease fees uh, uh, to, uh, to make the total cost of running the buses uh, lower than in the case of electric buses compared to the current cost of operating diesel buses. Um, where possible, try and use as much as possible commercial finance to uh, make that a regular part and parcel of the implementation practice going forward rather than continuing to rely completely on public sector money uh, and indeed uh, any public sector money that, that does go in could be harnessed as a revolving financing instrument uh, because over the longer total cost of ownership period uh, the uh, advance that is needed uh, into a public sector asset company can be recovered. Um, finally, uh, we did pursue more most implicitly uh, policy measures in line with the government of Rwanda's new e-mobility policy, which were custom duty free import uh, of the fleet uh, assets uh, and the applicability of wholesale rates of uh, energy cost. Uh, the implementation approach we summarized in three work streams, which is to firm up based on uh, uh, fleet replacement considerations, the final selection of routes into a first package that's big enough to have an efficient and synergetic uh, battery electric bus fleet operation um, to finalize for the purpose of contracting the financial parameters, the lease fee, any discounts to the lease fee to make it more beneficial to the operators. Um, and thirdly, to indeed prepare the tendering uh, and delivery of the, uh, uh, the assets uh, to be uh, uh, entwined with the planning of 
the uh, uh, entering into uh, new concessions by the government and the operators uh, in uh, Kigali. And that, I conclude for you my very brief overview of uh, our uh, study of battery electric uh, bus concept validation in Kigali. I uh, would be happy to uh, be in touch with people uh, to discuss more or to, to explore some of the details that were uh, 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 not highlighted for reasons of time constraints in this short e-course. Uh, thank you very much and uh, have a very good day. Thank you.